I would like to introduce you to God's Big Story. God's Big Story is a framework that we use with the children at Central Vineyard Church to encourage deeper thinking when teaching Bible stories. The God's Big Story framework also helps us to relate to the Bible to situations in our own lives. God's Big Story is a message of the whole Bible put into six pictures. These are love, broken love, Jesus, world, Holy Spirit and promise. I'm just going to explain a little bit more about what those um, individual symbols mean. So love. God made us to love. He loves us and he made us to be in relationship with him and relationship with one another. And so God, um, his plan was that we would live in a world um, that was full of love and that we would show this love to one another and to him and he would love us back. Then love was broken. People chose to separate themselves from God and make choices that weren't in agreement with God. And therefore, love was broken and brokenness entered the world. This made God sad. And so he had a plan and his plan was to come down to earth. And the way that he did this was to put himself into Jesus, um, which is called incarnation. And so he could come down and live on the earth with his people and spread the good news of who he was to everybody. And this is what Jesus spent his time doing through the Gospels, um, through teaching the people about the best way to live their lives. And when God had um, Jesus come back to live with him in heaven, he sent down the Holy Spirit to be with us. The Holy Spirit is his superpower. It's the thing that makes all things possible. And with the Holy Spirit with us, we can achieve far more than we could do on our own. And then God has a promise for us. And his promise is that one day the world will be made new. That there'll be a place where we will live together with him, where there'll be no pain or no suffering. And it brings us back to the beginning of God's big story, where he made a perfect world in which there was only love. And it will take us right back to where the story began. So where did God's big story come from? We went to a conference which was led by a lady called Rachel Turner, who helped us to think about the way in which we teach young children the message of the Bible. It's very common for us to teach that God is love and everything is love and the world is love, love, love to small children. Um, we often like to miss out the broken part of this because um, it exposes children to more truth of the world than we're ready for them to hear. Um, but the world does have bad things in it, um, but it's natural for us to want to shield our children from these things. The problem is if we shield children from broken love in the world, then we're not necessarily equipping them as to what to do should they face difficult times in their life. Research shows us that by the age of about eight or nine, children realise that the world is pretty broken. Children up to this age may have been missold the message of the Bible and only be taught about the lovely things and only focus on the happy parts. For example, in the story of creation, um, it's all about God making our wonderful world and nothing too much bad happens. In the story of Noah, it's all about Noah building a big boat for the animals to live in. With the story of David, um, it's as if David, without a care, went to defeat the giant. And in Daniel, he's pretty much making friends with the lions in the den. The children might be confused when things in their own lives don't work out and they may lay blame for the bad things that we face at God because they know that he's all powerful and they think that he should be able to do something about the bad things to make them not exist. Instead of realising that bad things exist and that God doesn't promise us a world without bad in it, he just does promise us that he will help us through the bad things that we might face. It might be that they, that they may have only learnt stories of people in the Bible where things worked out for them. And you might be thinking that the above stories did show an element of broken love in them, which is true, but we tend to not focus on that bit too much or we scoot over it. So as equal, equally as we um, 
share stories about the positive things that are happening. We need to share things about the broken love parts as well. And it all needs to be taught in a balance. It can be easy to assume that we need to protect our children from the bad things of the world. We often think there's plenty of time for children to learn about the brokenness of the world in which they live. But in fact, the most important thing is that children are given a balance of the good and the bad in the world so that they are equipped to know how to process the bad and they can understand how God can help them with the bad things that happen. A good example of something we try to shelter children from in the Bible can be at Easter time when we look at what happened at Easter. It can be really hard for us to explain to children why Jesus died on the cross, yet it's the most significant part of God's story. There's a two-part video that you can watch on how to explain the Easter story to children using the God's Big Story um, framework on our Central Vineyard YouTube channel. It is so important that we try to strike the correct balance with t when teaching children so that they are taught the whole story, the good and the bad and everything else that lies within it. So let's think about how we can use God's big story when we're sharing Bible stories and when we're relating the Bible messages to our own lives. When sharing a Bible story, we simply need to relate it to the God's big story cards as we go along. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Whatever you think or your child thinks relates to the story does if you can explain why. Here's a few examples that I've put into stories. Feeding the 5,000. Love. Jesus showed love for all the people as he chose to put them before himself and feed them when the day was late and he really just wanted to go away and rest. Broken love. The disciples were quite keen to send the people home hungry as they were tired and fed up now, as it had been a long day for them all. This meant that they had feelings that might have been selfish. Jesus, in this part of the Bible, Jesus was on earth, being everything that God wanted him to be for the people. The world. The little boy who chose to share his lunch did an amazing thing that day in the world by sharing his food with others. The Holy Spirit, Jesus, with the power of God in him, fed everyone with one packed lunchbox. He turned this into enough food to feed 5,000 people. Promise. God showed his promise to look after the people by feeding them so that they didn't go hungry. Then the story of the lost sheep. Love. God is like the shepherd. He loves all of us and wants us all. Broken love. Sometimes we might go away from God, just like the sheep strayed away. Jesus and the world. God sent Jesus to be a bit like the shepherd, to come and gather all of us to follow him. Holy Spirit. God's power can do the impossible. We can pray for those that we know are far away from God, that they will come back soon. And God promises that he will never give up on us, no matter how far away we stray. As we get used to using the God's Big Story cards um, and to, sh to share the Bible with our children, then the way that we relate to the Bible and our own lives can become a real natural thing for us to do. The reason it is so exciting is because it really does encourage us to have really deep conversations with our children, to really go deeper into the Bible and unpick what these stories mean. It helps the children to really see how the Bible is relating to their own lives. And this helps the children to see that this book, the Bible, is such a special tool for their lives. It no longer seems to be something that's hard work to read and becomes something that is relevant to every single day of their life. To help you to see how we put God's big story into many more Bible stories and life situations, you can watch our videos on our Central Vineyard YouTube channel.